I am extremely fortunate and very, very blessed to be part of an experimental program called the um, Edmonton Protocol. It's experimental and it is, has been developed by a doctor called James Shapiro. He is the guru, if, we, if you will, of islet cell transplantation um, of the world. He developed it. Islet cell transplantation, islet cells are the cells of the pancreas that produce insulin. What Dr. Shapiro has been able to do is isolate those islet cells from the pancreas, from a donor, so somebody who has died. They match the donor with the diabetic, a type 1 diabetic, and they then transfuse those little precious little islet cells with a um, catheter into the portal vein, the portal vein being the major vein that runs into the liver. They then graft onto the liver and start producing insulin. It's remarkable. It was four o'clock church service. My whole family was in church. The church was overflowing, it was packed, there was standing room only. And the uh, organist was playing some lovely Christmas carols. My pager went off. And I thought, oh gosh, here we go, another false alarm, because I'd had a few of those, let me tell you. And my husband at the same time looked down at his cell phone, which had been turned off, and he said, Debbie, Edmonton's been trying to call you. Well, I grabbed my purse, my cane, and my coat, dragged my husband behind me, stormed out of the, out of the church, and I think I knocked over half the choir trying to get out. <laughs> and uh, while the bells were tolling and the snow was gently falling, I called Edmonton and my nurse coordinator said, Debbie, we have some islet cells here for you. Wow, you couldn't have staged that any better. <laughs> it could be movie material, let me tell you. We caught the first plane to Edmonton. I arrived Christmas Eve. They prepped me, did more testing, pumped me full of immunosuppression drugs, IV, and I had my transplant Christmas Day 2003. What a gift. As I'm getting those islet cells put into my body, I'm overcome with joy. And I'm thinking of the donor family that has consented to organ donation of a loved one, a loved one that they have lost. And they have had that family the courage to consent for organ donation. So my thoughts are with them. I'm grieving for them. I'm so thankful for them. I'm so joyous and hopeful and am in awe and very humbled. This was very emotion, emotional for me particularly because I had a brother. And at 19, he died in a motorcycle accident. And my parents consented for organ and tissue, don tissue donation. I felt what that family felt, that, uh, that family that lost the loved one that gave those organs. I knew what they were going through, and I was receiving a transplant. This is the time that I please urge you to sign those donor cards because it's important saves lives. <laughs>